know that there are several people who are soft on the LTT uh, in, in, uh, in your state of Tamil Nadu. Now, how does the government reconcile this fast-changing situation in Sri Lanka with known sympathies that people have in Tamil Nadu, po political parties towards the Tamil Tigers? <coughs> Well, they, first of all, uh, the overwhelming majority of the Tamil people don't have no respect for uh, Prabhakaran or the LTT. And uh, certainly after the assassination of Rajiv Gandhi, there's just simply no sympathy at all. And uh, one can see this in all these uh, stage-managed meetings that uh, some of the sympathizers have done. The fact of the matter is that the LTT did finance a lot of political activities in Tamil Nadu. And those people are now orphaned by the uh, diminishing strength of the LTT. Now, I don't think that it has any effect at all uh, in India. The only thing that we have to take uh, precaution is that the Sri Lankan government keeps to its commitment made uh, to the various leaders of the world that after the military solution, they will follow with the political solution, which is devolve the constitutional powers to enable the Tamils to have some local uh, freedom to uh, run their own affairs. That is the key thing which will prevent uh, future uh, terrorism from taking place in Sri Lanka. Jihan Pereira, I want to talk to you about this man, Rajapakse, who's carried out this big offensive. So many of our other panelists also said he's the man. He's gone all out after them, prepared to take losses. What really is the basis for this, for this push that he has? I mean, why have Sri Lankan leaders before him not pushed as hard, or have they? Well, one reason could be that uh, President Rajapaksa feels that his electoral base is entirely Sinhalese, and he has to keep the Sinhalese with him if he is to remain in power. Uh, I think he feels that the ethnic minorities will not vote for him, and therefore he has to keep the Sinhalese with him. And nationalism, nationalism, the motherland, terrorism, LTT are the key words that he has been able to put before the people to sustain their support for him despite uh, so many other problems such as uh, high inflation, a uh, lot of corruption and uh, clashes between the judiciary and the executive. But the support for the government and the president remains high among the ethnic majority Sinhalese because of the war. Right. But, he's, but he's shown a tremendous decisiveness in all of this. Uh, in case you're watching this right now, the big global story, in fact, happening right near our southern tip, where uh, in Sri Lanka, the Tamil Tigers have been pushed like never before, losing their northern headquarters of Kilinochi and being pushed further from there. General Kalkert, for somebody who understands the workings of the Tamil Tigers so well, in your assessment, are we expecting more retaliatory strikes from the LTTE now? Yes, I agree with you, Maru. You may expect them hitting soft targets. Now they will revert back to their original type of kind of warfare, that is guerrilla warfare and terrorist attacks on soft targets, on civilian population. And uh, obviously they had thought that they, they were never a state actor, though they had assigned to themselves the trappings of a state actor and like a regular force. And that is why they lost, because they cannot fight a regular force. And of course, this loss is going to set them back politically. Mm. At the same time, the morale of the Sri Lankan forces is going to be high, and they are going to face a very tough situation. Okay. But nevertheless, the difficult part is ahead. When the air power cannot be used in the jungles, the tanks cannot go there, the artillery fire is not effective, and it has got to be the soldier on the foot who's going to seek out and destroy them. But it can be done, but it will be a very slow process. Okay. Venkat, before I wrap up, I remember very clearly, I'm sure you remember too, yes. that in uh, Tamil Nadu, yes. a lot of leaders were asking for humanitarian mm. assistance to be sent to uh, Sri Lanka. Now, is, the, is this going to increase right now? Mm. Will a lot of uh, Tamil Nadu parties be asking for greater humanitarian assistance to mm. be sent to Sri Lanka. And if that were to happen, should we allow it? Ah, yes, I suppose so, because the civilian consequences of this war are really great. Uh, more than 200,000 people have been internally displaced in the last uh, six months or so. 
and uh, you know the call for a ceasefire will i expect it to intensify because you know the uh, fall of kilinochi represents a sort of decisive moment or at least gives an appearance of a being a very decisive point in the military history of this current conflict so i expect that now that you have reached a point you have captured kilinochi now why don't you halt the war and uh, begin a political process this line of thinking is likely to come up in tamil nadu in the next few days and humanitarian assistance of course i don't think india anyone here grudges that sort of assistance but the modalities will have to be you know uh, the one round of assistance that went i doubt if even that has been effectively distributed already but okay. so you know these are logistic right. constraints but politically the demand will remain okay venkat general kalkat jihan <coughs> parera and subramaniam swami thank you very much on that big story of the day <laughs>